Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome to my channel. So in another one of my video tutorials, I did the wood grain design using all gel polish. So I wanted to see if I could try and do it in all acrylic. Now, first of all, let me just say, if you watched my gel polish wood grain design video, thank you very much. And if you liked the video, a double thank you to you. So I wanted to try to achieve this look doing all acrylic and it turned out amazing. I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out but I added a few water decals and some matte top coat and it is awesome. So if this is something that you want to learn to do, please keep watching as always. Don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons and any comments you have, leave them below. Okay guys, to start off for this design, you are going to need three different colors of acrylic. So I've got a dark brown one, I've got a taupe one, which is more of a grayish tan, and then I've got a tan one. So as you can see, these are custom mixed ones that I have made myself. I've mentioned in videos before that I have tons and tons and tons of custom mixed acryl acrylics. So I oftentimes tend to reach for those. I do have some glam and glitz as well, but because I have so many of these, I always reach for them. So you just need those three shades brown taupe and tan and you want to make sure that your brown is fairly dark then you're also going to need a white acrylic as well because we do want to add a little bit of white in there just to lighten it up and add those streaks and then you are going to need a clear to cap so right now I've got the young nails clear as I've mentioned in a few previous videos I am looking to transition into a new line of acrylic so I have purchased the young nails clear um, the speed clear so I'm just kind of working with that right now but again if you guys have a favorite brand of acrylic please drop it below I've heard a lot of things about um, young nails I've heard some uh, people mention nail nails but yes if you have a brand that you absolutely love please drop it below and if I can get my hands on some of these I will actually um, really like to try them out and might do a whole video just testing out how fast they cure the consistency the mix ratio things like that so mention your favorite brands below then you are also going to need um, a water decal so I've chosen this one now if you are great at hand painting you can hand paint your little flowers and butterflies or whatever you choose to do for a little additional design onto the um, wood grain design but I found this pack in my collection and I thought it would be absolutely perfect with a few little butterflies and the flowers that have the stems as if they're growing straight out of the ground so I will link this one below I know I got it on eBay so I will see if I can find it I've actually been quite lucky that um, any of the water decals that I have been trying to find on eBay that I have had in my collection because some of them I've had for so long I have been able to find the links for you guys so again I will find the link for this one but I think this will be perfect and then you are going to need a matte top coat because I do feel like whenever I see the wood grain designs I do think that they look the best in matte and this is my absolute favorite matte right now I was using the Ugly Duckling one forever and ever and ever, and I recently tried this 2M Beauty and I am hooked. So I'm going to use the 2M Beauty matte top coat, and then of course you're going to need some tweezers to apply your little water decals if that's what you're using, and I just have a little dap and dish with some water, and of course whatever your favorite acrylic brush is, mine is still going on strong with the Joann's, the big one, I've obviously scratched off the J there, probably because I'm doing so much sanitizing. <laughs> and I think my sanitizer uh, that I'm using, my disinfectant that I'm using, is actually taking all of the labels off of all of my stuff, but that's the way that we live right now. We have to clean everything. So that is it for product. So hang in there, guys. We're going to get started. All right, guys. So this design is so easy. I really like to show you guys um, tutorials that are very easy to implement in your salon. So oftentimes, you know, we watch a lot of nail videos and I do some of them as well. And I love doing them where the nails are really long and they definitely would take a lot more than like the average hour and a half appointment. You're looking at more like three hours 
colors. So I like to try to show you guys both. I love doing the long ones that take forever and that are super intricate and very cool. And then I also like to show you guys designs that you can implement in your salon that are easy to do on your clients. So this is definitely one of those. It looks cool and it looks like it might take a lot of time, but it absolutely does not. So we're basically going to use the marbling method where you stack the beads of acrylic. So we're going to start with the lightest color of our acrylic. So I'm going to start with this light tan color here, then I'm going to move into the taupe, then to the dark brown, and then a small bead on top of white, and we are going to drag the marbling up and down in a vertical pattern. So let's do it. So you want your beads to be obviously fairly wet. I'm gonna start in the middle, I'm going to go into the taupe, pat it, put it on top, the dark brown, put it on top, and the white. Now, of course, when we're working with clients, you want to be very careful not to have it dripping all over their skin. So if you need to work with a very small bead of acrylic first and then just keep adding, definitely do so. So as you can see, I'm just dragging the product up and down vertically, creating those lines that you see in a tree. Now obviously it didn't cover the entire nail and that's okay, we're just gonna go back in and you just continue to do the same thing, adding your color. Oops, I did the, the wrong one. You wanna start with the lightest color. Again, we're gonna go in with that tan. We're gonna place the um, taupe on top, grab a little bit of that taupe, grab a little bit of brown and white. And then again, we are going to drag that up and down. Now you want to also make sure that you are working in a very thin layer. And as you can see, it just naturally creates, if you can see right there, it naturally created sort of a little circular pattern, which is exactly what happens on tree trunks. You just So it just naturally happens as you're playing. Now I will say, I've said this in other videos when I'm marbling, you don't wanna muck with it too much. Once you kinda get that um, streaking in there, leave it alone, don't mess with it. So now go back in, find another pocket of area that hasn't got color on it, and we're going to add the product again. So we're going to add a little bit of, a, of the um, tan, a little bit of the taupe, and some of the dark brown, and some white. And again, we're just going to drag that through, and making sure, again, do not get it all over the client's skin. This can be a little difficult when you're working with the wet acrylic marbling method because it's so wet, you do have to be very careful. If you are not used to doing this method and you're very new to doing nails or you're very new to using acrylic, I would definitely say work in very small beads. You might have to do five or six um, beads, but that is much better to do than getting product all over your client's skin. So now as you can see, I've just got a little pocket up here that still has no color on it. So I'm going to go in and we're just gonna grab, you know, smaller sizes because I don't have a lot of area to cover there. And again, we're just stacking those colors and then we're going to just drag that through. And if I turn it to the side, you can see it has still stayed very, very thin. It's not thick at all. And you want to keep it thin because of course we are going to cap in clear. Now another thing that you can do, um, I'm very happy with how this design has turned out. I might add just a little bit down here because there is a little bit of um, area that's very thin and there's not a lot of product. So I might just add a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit down here. As you can see, I'm just grabbing very, very small little beads and I'm just going to fill that in, make it a little less transparent, a little more opaque. But as far as the way that this design looks, I am super happy with it. I love that it created that little sort of circular pattern. Now, if you felt like it didn't look enough like there was you know, natural wood grain, you could go back in with your dark brown um, and I would just grab a small bead like that and place it on, I'll do it here for you guys just to kind of show you. So place it on the nail, re-wet your brush a little bit and then you just want to create, sort of drag that bead through to kind of create that little marbled, um, that little line. So as you can see, I'm just creating like a little fine line with that bead of the dark color. And then if you want, you can kind of 
feather it just slightly kind of to blend it a little bit. So if you didn't have, um, you know, a pocket like that, or you just didn't find that the marbling created, you know, just a natural enough look, um, you can add a little line like that and just kind of feather it. But I, I personally liked the way it looked better before because it had such perfect lines, but I just wanted to show you that you could do that. So that would be it for that guy. And then you would move on to the next nail, obviously. And by the time you get to the 10th nail or however many nails you're doing, everything will be dry enough and then you can cap with clear. So now I'm going to show you another method um, that just gives a little bit of a different effect. So for this method, you still stack the wet beads like we did in the previous way, and we're going to start at the cuticle area, and then what you do is you actually tip um, or tilt the nail or the client's finger down, and just allow gravity to kind of naturally pull those beads downwards. So I'm gonna show you how to do that so again, you start with a wet bead of the tan color and then the nude or the taupe, excuse me, and you can already start to kind of tip the client's finger down a little bit as you're doing this so it kind of naturally starts to pull down. And as you can see, it's already kind of pulling down and as it does that, when it gets to about the middle part, I actually kind of just take and pull this way and pull a little bit on the sides. So as you can see, it kind of creates a little bit more, um, and, and up towards the cuticle area, you just want to sort of pat. And as the acrylic starts to harden just a little bit, you can kind of pat and just pull it a little bit upwards towards the cuticle as well with your brush, just sort of feathering and blending a little tiny bit. But as the acrylic starts to harden, you can pat it down a little bit more just to kind of thin it out because it does go on a little thicker than the other um, method, the first way that we did it when we were just kind of marbling and dragging the colors through. So basically, the idea of this is that it's giving you sort of a more zoomed in look on those tree rings or those, um, I don't know what you call them exactly, what's on a tree? <laughs> Maybe our tree experts out there can tell me. Um, but then obviously we're, gonna, we're going to need to fill in these other areas as well. So I do just go back in again with my, my beads of, ac of acrylic. Sorry, that one just was not quite large enough. And start layering again, doing the same thing with the colors and then adding some of that white on top. And this way, this one you want to sort of drag, you know, a little bit less, right? You don't want as thin of um, drag marks because we are creating sort of more of a zoomed in look. And if you go over the white or anything like that, it's okay. Just sort of use your wet brush and kind of clean that out a little bit there. And then again, go on to the other side and basically do the same thing. Now I would say that the other way is definitely easier. I would say that I prefer the other way. It takes a little less effort, but I did want to just show you guys this because it, I, when I was playing around with you know the design and, and practicing how to um, do this, because I did actually practice this one and see how well it would work, I just kind of accidentally came <laughs> upon this way and I thought, oh, that kind of you know, might be something someone would be into to, to doing. So I just wanted to show you 
that way as well. And then you would simply cap in clear. Alright guys, so here they are all finished up. I have filed them and buffed them and they are ready for top coat. So as you can see, these ones are ones that I did off camera. This one here is the one that I first showed you. It has that little beautiful circle there that I absolutely love. And this one is the one with the larger kind of ring design. I also did the same thing as the, this one here on this one. So you can see it's a little bit smaller. So you can see the different... Um, the difference in the application this one this one and this one are all done just using the marbling effect the it's a lot quicker and this one here is done using the motion where you um, allow it to be pulled down by gravity and same with this one so I prefer most um, for myself I much prefer these three um, first of all they were quicker I just think the design looks nicer but like I said in the video I did want to show you the other method just because I kind of came across it when I was playing around and practicing and I thought oh that's kind of cool let me show them that way as well and maybe you guys can figure out something else to do with that method but now we're going to go into adding the water decals so as you can see here I just have cut a few of those flowers and butterflies out of the paper I'm just placing them in some water to let them soak for a minute and I'm not going to put the water decals on every single nail and as I said before if you can hand paint really well you could just do hand painting on these so I'm just gonna put this little guy on the lid on the container here and so basically what I'm going to do is just apply a layer of the matte top coat, place the water decals into the layer, cure them, and then we're going to place a final layer of top coat on top of the water decals. Sometimes you need two coats. Um, what I like to do once I get the water decal on and the first layer of top coat finished on the, it's cured on top of the decal, I'll take my tweezers and just kind of run along just to see if I can feel any ledges, but I'll show you that also. The other thing is that if you take a little bit of your water and just wet your paper towel um, that helps with your water decals to keep them um, wet instead of just soaking in this pot the whole time so I'm going to put the decals on this finger and this finger so I'm just going to take that off of there we're going to move that out of the way and I'm going to apply a thin layer of my matte top coat quite thin you don't need it thick at all because this is just basically kind of a glue layer and then we'll start removing our decals out of the water and I'll just place them here leaving them on the paper but just placing them on that wet paper towel so I think on this one we'll do the, the blue butterfly so you just slide it off the paper I've mentioned in another video as well, if you have a larger decal and you find um, that it is not going to sit flat or like, you know, lay flat on the nail, you can actually put little tiny slits. You know, I would put one in the middle here, maybe one down here. If it was a larger decal, I know that these are gonna lay flat because um, they're very small, but I'm just gonna place this guy up here. And as you see, it just slides right in there. And then I'm gonna grab this flower slide it off and if you have any excess water just tap it onto the paper towel and I'm gonna let that one and as you see these decals lay really nicely they just kind of slide right down into place but again if I was finding that there was you know if you could look at it at an angle and there's a bunch of areas that are kind of poking up you definitely want to give it a little bit of a cut so I'm just gonna slide that down and then I'm going to also do this guy here. Again, just remove any excess water. And that right there will go into um, the curing lamp. And we will repeat the same process on the other nail with the decals.
So now I'm just going to apply that final layer of top coat on all of the nails. All right, so once they come out of that light with the first coat of um, top coat, like I said, I like to kind of just tilt it and look at it at an angle and see if there's anything sticking up. You can rub your finger over it and see if you feel any little ledges or anything from, um, you know, the decals. I think these are actually really good. Um, there might be a little bit of a ledge on this one. So if you feel like it, if you know you just wanna be extra cautious, I would put two coats of top coat on these two just to make sure that those decals are sealed in really, really good and that they don't have any chance of kind of chipping or peeling out. And that is it. So I will take some photos and videos for you guys. Well guys, thanks again for watching another one of my videos. The wood grain design has been so popular lately. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I really wanted to challenge myself and see if I could do this design in all acrylic and challenge accepted and challenge succeeded. So for all of my all acrylic people, give this one a try. If you do try this design, please don't forget to tag me on Instagram, nailsbyjen underscore regina underscore sk. I've got the link below for you guys. If you liked this video, please share it with someone else. And don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons. Any comments, leave them below. And as always, guys, have an amazing day.